Hey guys, Ryan Weber here and welcome back to part three of the studio office build out. We are at the final stages of building out an office studio so we can shoot YouTube videos easily and consistently for Tiffany. So let's go check it out and set this thing up. So we are inside of the studio, as you can tell. All of our decor is in here. Our main setup is gonna be this couch facing this way. We're gonna have one setup. I originally wanted two setups. I wanted to have one on this and one on that. And then after kind of looking at everything, we just need one really good clean setup for her to click record. And if she's gonna need a different setup, she's probably gonna have us come over to make it look nice. So. We want her to have that one really good setup so that she doesn't have to think about anything when she is getting ready to film. So our equipment that we are going to use. First thing we have on this light stand, it has wheels. We like this light stand because it's super simple to move around, but this is gonna be our background light. We have the Godox VL300. We have the Lantern China Ball. This is gonna be able to put off a good amount of light and it's gonna be really soft. It's also gonna serve as a hair light for her as well, kind of a fill. So moving over here, our other light, which is our key light, is this Falcon Eyes. I'm gonna read it off because it's got a bunch of letters. The RX24 TDX. I like it, big panel. It has a diffuser on it, so a soft box, and it has a grid on it. So with this grid, it's really directional on the light. That way we don't have light spilling everywhere. We have this light sitting on a C-stand. This setup's gonna stay here. It's not gonna move. This is her setup for if I wanna record a video on my own, I can come over here, click record, and go. Everything's gonna be built out on this stand. So she turns on the light, she turns on the light, and she turns on the camera and presses record. We're trying to make it as simple as possible. The audio is already on. Everything's set up for her to press record, which we can get to. The camera we're using, Canon C200. This was our C cam, so this is our third camera. We use Sony for everything else, so this doesn't really fit into what we're doing, but it's a really good C camera. It's her favorite camera, so she's getting a little nicer camera than most. She's gonna have a cinema camera as her normal setup. On the C200, we have the Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8. Awesome lens, wide angle, low aperture. This is the lens I recommend for this camera for pretty much anything. Moving from that, all we have is our microphone. We're using an XLR microphone. The reason we're using XLR is because it has a higher quality sound and the Canon C200 has an XLR input. So an XLR mic, we have the Sennheiser MKH P48. Very expensive microphone. However, you can use this microphone, not do any audio processing and it sounds really good. So it's gonna allow her to record so quick and so fast and not have to worry about how it sounds. It's gonna sound great because we're inside. We have the microphone on a Manfrotto uh, Magic Arm. Really what this does is it allows us to get an extension pole from this light stand, XLR cable, and a couple arms to hold our camera. So let's go ahead and get this rigged up and then we can show you what it looks like. This is the top of a tripod from an old tripod that we don't use anymore. So we're gonna actually use this as like sitting in here so it can be an all-in-one stand. So this is our stand built out. We have our camera set up here. We can zoom in and out. We kind of have it set as far as, you can actually go all the way back. I can't see the microphone or the stand or anything. At 18, it's really, really wide here. And she can zoom all the way into 35 to get a more kind of up close tight shot. So I'm gonna have this camera set up for colors. That way it shoots a really nice looking image directly out of the camera. There's no color grading, no editing that needs to happen other than cutting out words or, or anything like that. Same thing with audio. We're gonna set the audio level so it's completely fine. She doesn't have to do any post-processing and she can press record on this thing and it is done. So to start your video production, first thing you do, we shut off the overhead lights. We shut them off, it's gonna go black. And we turn on first our background light. So now that we have our background lit, we also have a practical over here, which is a nice warm lamp. 
that we put on. That's going to kind of give her a little glow over here. It's going to help show the tree off in the image. And finally, we'll turn on our key light. And it is directed exactly where she would be sitting in the middle of the couch. I like using these couches because it has a line in the middle and you know exactly where the middle is. And this right here is our final setup. So I have the camera for her height, so it's cutting off my head. She's uh, a foot shorter than me, so. It so now we will swap over. We'll show you exactly how this camera looks and sounds directly out of the camera. We're not gonna do any coloring. We're not gonna do any processing of the audio. This is just what it looks like by pressing record on this video. And this is what the final setup looks like for the all-in-one light stand audio. This is the audio coming out of the Sennheiser mic here. This is the color and image coming out of the Canon C200 in front of us. And this is the look that we created with the background, the walls, the couch, everything in here was made for this to be a YouTube studio recording spot for Tiffany to record her YouTube and educational videos for her clients. The caveat, she still has an office in here to work and she still has a conference table for her to be able to conduct her business. So if you like videos like this, please comment below, let us know what you thought of it and ask any questions you have because we'd love to help you guys out. Once again, my name is Ryan Weber and I will see you guys in our next video.